Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys review and unboxing. Today it's Doctor Strange from Avengers Infinity War. The box has the same design as the other Avengers Infinity War figures, which means you have the title of the movie, the Avengers logo, and a promotional picture of the character. So now let's open this and first let's take a look at the accessories. As you can see, there are a lot of accessories with this figure. You get a lot of different hands, mystic art effects, a display base, and also a background. First, let's talk about this background. The background features Doctor Strange with many arms. It's recreating one of the scenes on Titan when uh, he fights Thanos. It's definitely a beautiful picture but personally I have never used this background. So now let's take a look at the display base. So it's always the same with the Avengers Infinity War display bases which means you have the Avengers logo, the title of the movie and the name of the character. So now let's take a look at the Mystic Art effects. As you can see, you have different options for the mystic art effects. The ropes is a beautiful accessory. As you can see, they have sculpted writings on them. It's really beautiful. You can attach the ends here. We'll try that later on the, the figure. Then you have the saber which is another beautiful piece of accessory. Uh, you can see the eye of Agamotto sculpted there. It's really beautiful. Then you have these two circles. You can also attach them to the hands. Uh, I love how each piece of Mystic Heart is beautifully de detailed. There are also writings there. I really like that and it's great that they have included a lot of different accessories. Here's another one. Then you have this big piece and once again you have writings sculpted there. It's really beautiful. Nicely done. Uh, now you have these that are in two parts. We'll try each accessory on the figure later. Finally, you have the time effects. They work the same as these two, which means they are in two parts. And you have the eye of Agamotto, which is opened. You also have one that is closed. With the open one you can see the Infinity Stone. So you can display it with these effects. Now let's take a look at the ends. As you can see, just like for the Mystic Art effects, there are a lot of different hands. First, let's take a look at these two. As you can see, there are surgery pins in his fingers. It has been sculpted into each of the hands and as I always say with Hot Toys it's all about the details. In the Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange had an accident which led to uh, him losing the use of his hands, hence why they had to put surgery pins into his fingers. So it's a nice detail that Hot Toys has captured with his hands. Uh, now, well, let's take a look at these ends. As you can see, you can also spot the uh, surgery pins there. These are uh, to use with Mystic Art effects. You also have these two. This one as well. These two. 
as you can see for each hand you see the uh, surgery pins in the fingers these two you can hold the uh, mystic art saber effects and then the closed fists fists hands and there was also an accessory I forgot to mention the sling ring as you can see there are two sling rings here's one and the other one you can attach it here so now let's take a look a proper look at the figure this is a great figure I will love the costume and Hot Toys has done an amazing job recreating it. It's definitely screen accurate. There are a lot of details. We'll see that with a closer look at the costume. Doctor Strange became one of my favorite MCU characters with his solo movie. Back then I uh, wasn't collecting Hot Toys figures yet. So I didn't get the uh, solo movie figure. So I had to get the Avengers Infinity War figure, especially since there are so many accessories with it. So now let's take a closer look at the costume. For the belts they use different type of materials. You have some plastic there, then some full leather and finally some fabric. Hot Toys has really done a beautiful job with this outfit, getting all the different kind of materials to recreate the, in the best way the different textures of these outfits. Same for um, the sleeves, you have a different type of fabric than for uh, the tunic. And here uh, is also a different type of fabric. Uh, it's a really nice work. Uh, speaking of the tunic, uh, you have different layers of fabric there. There's also another tunic there, so you can see it's really beautifully crafted. And now let's talk about the clock of levitation. It works with magnets as for a lot of things with our toys. And I totally support that. The use of magnets is great because it will look natural. You don't see anything that holds the cape onto the figure and it looks really great. So now let's detach it and take a closer look at the cape itself. It's a beautiful work as you can see. Uh, it's actually two pieces of fabric this one that they suit onto the second piece which is this one this one has also a lot of wonderful detail with these motifs there it's a beautiful piece uh, you also have some wires there and also there so you can pose the cape the way you want for display and now let's take a look at the head sculpt the head sculpt was made by Viva Lei and painted by Ji Si Hong I think they have done an incredible work because it will really looks like Benedict Cumberbatch I mean look at this no matter the angle, it really looks like him. And I do love the serious Doctor Strange expression that they have given him. Uh, the hair is also beautifully sculpted and painted. There is some white hair and hair. In terms of articulation, it's a bit limited because it's just one piece, the head and the neck, but it does look better. You can move the head like this, like this, and like this. Here's a pose with the uh, 
Mystic Art Saber effect. It really looks great on the figure. Uh, in terms of articulation, um, it has a pretty good range. As you can see, like this. Uh, for this arm, it's a little bit different because if you move it too much, the cape will be detached, so it's more limited. Uh, for the legs, you have articulation like this, like this. Uh, there are no articulation at the feet because the boots are made of plastic and it's just one piece. But that's fine. Um, so now uh, let's try uh, another Mystic Heart effect. Here he is with the Rob's Mystic Heart effect. Now let's try other Mystic Heart effects. Here he is with the small square Mystic Heart effect. It does look pretty cool on like that. Uh, now let's try the uh, big Mandala Mystic Art effects. I used to display my figure like this for quite some time and then I changed to another pose. I mean, it's just great to have all these different accessories because it gives you a lot of different possibilities for display. And uh, each of these accessories are pretty cool. So, I mean, why not using them? Uh, now, let's try the uh, big uh, Mystic Hearts effects and then I'll show you how uh, my figure is currently displayed. It also looks great like this and it's very easy to put on each of these effects. Uh, well, now I'll show you, like I said, uh, how I currently display my figure. I display this figure like this in my collection, but you can also use different hands with these effects. Uh, the user guide shows you these effects with the closed fists hands, so there are diff different possibilities. Now let's see the green colored effects with the eye of Hagamoto opened to see the time stone. Here's how it looks with the time stone green effects. It also looks pretty cool, so as you can see you have a lot of possibilities for display. And also, if you are a toy photographer like me, you also have plenty of possibilities there. This is a great figure with an amazing head sculpt that really looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. It also comes with a lot of accessories. Uh, for me, at the time, it was a must-buy and if you are a fan of the character, I definitely recommend getting this figure. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you want to read my full review, you can find it on our Future of Force website. You can get the link in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with more unboxings and reviews very soon. Bye!